Hey guys, what's up? How are you? I hope that you guys are having an amazing day today. In today's video, we're going to be decluttering another drawer and this one is my cream drawer. So I do have a lot of cream products, highlighters, bronzers, blushes, as well as some loose powders that we are going to target and see what we can declutter. Uh, once again, like I've mentioned in my previous declutter videos, it is very difficult for me to let go of some stuff, but I'm going to try my best. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first powders that I'm going to talk to you guys about are these ones right here from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one right here, it's definitely too icy for me and this one is so Hollywood so I can still make that work. I haven't reached for these ones in a very long time but I definitely have to let one go and it's going to be in this one right here so I am going to declutter this one and this one is in the shade Snowflake so I am going to keep so Hollywood. I also have this one from Artist Couture and it is in the shade Summer Haze. Again, another one that I'm definitely going to be keeping. This one is pretty new to my collection and yeah, pretty relatively new, not as old as the other two right here. And this one is from Jacqueline Hill. Believe it or not, I still have not tried it. So I am going to keep that one as well. This one is the Translucent Powder from Laura Mercier in Glow and I already declutter some other ones. This one is in the Translucent one. So I am going to keep this one. This one is also from Laura Mercier and this one is in the shade Celestial Light. Really nice and beautiful. I know that I have another one. I don't know where it is right now, but I kept this one in the medium skin tone one and the darker one I actually gifted it to my mom. So let's go ahead and talk about some highlighters now. And this one is from Pat McGrath. This is such a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. Of course, they're going to stay in my collection. This one is the Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops and I am going to declutter this one because I don't see myself reaching for this so one. here we have the Farsali Jelly Bean. I know that no one talks about this one anymore and it is so sad here. It's a swatch for you guys. I'm going to have to declutter this one. As well. This one is the Strobe Cream Hydrating Luminizer from MAC and this is just a sample. It's more on the pinky iridescence side. I don't know if you guys can see it right here. I don't see myself reaching for this one so I'm also going to let it go. I am going to keep my Benefit What's Up. This one is just a a classic and it does get used from time to time so I am going to keep this one. I'm also going to be keeping this one which is from the Revy and MAC collection. It's just a beautiful one and it's not going to go anywhere. Even though I don't use it, it's still going to stay in my collection. This one right here from Iconic London, I don't see myself using this one at all. And I think it was like super metallic and really hard to blend. Like you have to work really, really fast. So I am going to also pass it along. I do have these other two from MAC. This one is Hush that I'm going to keep. And this one is in the shade Pearl that I'm also going to keep. This is a brand new highlighter. I haven't even opened it or tried it. It's from the Westman Atelier collection and this one is in the shade nectar just so you guys can see it is more on the peachy pinky side super super beautiful so i am going to be trying this one hopefully very soon for like upcoming like spring looks and stuff like that so i will remind myself to use that one this one right here hmm, even though i got rid of the other one i actually want to keep this one from Marc jacobs just because i don't know i really like it yeah think that it is so 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 cute and i'm not keeping a lot of things from our jacobs but i am going to keep this one right here um these two from sephora are just super affordable and really amazing i don't know if they still have it available but these two just work super super nice going to be keeping so here we have the glitter drops from cover effects and here is a swatch for you. A lot of glitter and super gorgeous. If you put it with your lotion and just put it all over your body for spring and summer, it just gives you the most amazing glow. And I love this one so much. This one was limited edition from Pat McGrath. And here is a swatch for you guys. Look, it's like the tiniest thing. Look at that. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And this is from Pam McGrath. I'm so, so, so happy that I have it in my collection, but I need to use it. That is gorgeous. This one is one of my favorites, especially during the spring and summer, which is from MAC and Goldilight. I'm going to be keeping. All right, so this one is the Super Radiant Booster from NARS. I don't even know if NARS still have this one available. It's right here. As you can see, it's super, super subtle. So I am going to keep it and see if I can mix it with my foundation. Here we have the Merit Bounce Highlighting Balm. And here is a swatch for you guys. It is super 
gorgeous and I absolutely love it so much. For spring last year, I was using it nonstop and I really think that it is super stunning. So I'm going to keep that one, of course. For this one I bought and still has a wrapper. I still have not been able to use it, but I am going to keep it. So this one is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and it has been in my collection for a very long time. So I am going to also declutter that one. This one is from Anastasia Rudy Hills and this is the Liquid Gold. It is definitely stained. So this one is from Cover FX in the shade Sunlight. It hasn't even been opened yet, so I am going to declutter that one. All right, so I do have this bronzer from Chanel, and this is the Soleil Tan de Chanel, and I am going to keep it. Here we have the cream bronzer from Fenty, and by the way it looks, you guys already know that I love it. And this one is in the shade 03 Macchiato which is super super nice i love that bronzer so much this one is from Anastasia really hills and this is in the shade golden tan it might actually work for me right now that i am a little bit lighter um this is definitely really nice and warm this one might actually work for me now and i need to remind myself to use it so this is definitely going to stay this one is also pretty new to my collection and this is the same bronzer and now that i am swatching it right next to the anastasia they are pretty similar anastasia is a little bit more cooler and this one is actually a little bit warmer so this one right here is from dennis armyrex and it is in the shade medium one it is pretty new to my collection i just got it a couple of weeks ago so far so good with this bronzer this one right here is from nars and i do not know why i have not used it maybe because you guys cannot get your hands on this one and that's why I haven't used it but this one is the sun kiss bronzing cream from nars in the shade laguna it looks super nice and pretty so i i will be using this one soon even if it's off camera i will be using it i have this little mini one from milk makeup and i thought that it was the perfect size it is in the shade medium tan and it is really nice to give you like warmth to your skin so i am going to keep this one super cute this one right here is one of my favorite most used contour sticks and it is from fenty in the shade mocha really nice and beautiful super gorgeous so easy to blend for me for my experience and i really 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 like it i've also been using this one which is pretty new to my collection this one is from westman atelier and this is in the shade biscuit it's also a contour stick and i've actually been gravitating towards this one a little bit more and not using my fenty as much but i still love my fenty but i've been using this one it is definitely more on the cooler side and i really like it it just blends into your skin super nice and from swatching those two this one is definitely hands down much creamier easier on the skin it just feels so nice and soft and really like this one as well all right so we are moving on to blushes now and this one is from merit in the shade beverly hills it is so 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 pretty and i actually just featured it in one of my videos where i'm showing you all of my most used favorites of uh, 2021 and this one made the cut it is so pretty really nice it gives you such a natural flush to the skin perfect for those no makeup makeup days this one is from charlotte Tilbury. it's also a contour stick really nice and beautiful super easy no matter how much you actually put in your face is super super easy to blend and i do have mine in the shade medium dark and of course i am going to keep it this right here i actually got it in my boxy charm but i really don't see myself reaching for this one so i am going to declutter it it is a really nice beautiful color but it has a little bit more of a sheen and i just don't see myself gravitating for a liquid blush like this so i am going to pass it off this liquid blush right here from nars is in the shade torrid and it is stunning here it is a little bit goes a long long way like the tiniest bit goes a long way but it is so gorgeous uh, during the summer months so i am going to keep this one i'm also going to be keeping all of my natasha denona liquid blushes i actually do have a video dedicated to these blushes right here where i'm actually trying it on the face and these two yeah you do have to build them up but they are just super gorgeous this one is one of my favorites to wear when i don't want a lot of blush but i still want a little something and this one definitely shows up it is super gorgeous and i am going to keep all three of them all right so we have 
Pink Dahlia from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is pretty new so I am going to keep it. I have this one from Westman Atelier and this is in the shade Minette but it's definitely more on the coral side so yeah Pink Dahlia from Anastasia Beverly Hills it is super gorgeous. This one is definitely more on the coral side and Anastasia is more pink. We also have this one right here from Rare Beauty and I wasn't a true fan. I haven't really picked up anything from Rare Beauty other than this one and maybe the brow. And I just got the bronzer that I'm going to be trying soon in a future video. But this one right here, I don't know, I just... It was just so hard. It actually moved my foundation, but everybody loves it so much. So I am going to give it another go. A little bit goes a long way. I mean, look at that. That is so gorgeous, but so much. And it pulled my foundation off my skin when everything was set. So I don't like blushes that you have to use it prior to setting your foundation because I'm oily to combination. It just makes it a little bit harder for me, but I'm going to try it again in different ways and see how I like it. Don't see myself reaching for this ones and I don't know why, but they are super, super beautiful. Let me just, maybe that's why, because it just create a little bit of a mess when you have to spray them out. But look how beautiful that bronzer is. I need to give them another go. I'm not going to let them go yet. And the blushes are definitely beautiful, beautiful shades. This one right here is definitely a little bit too light. I don't see myself reaching for this one right here. So I'm going to have to pass this one along. And this one is the other one, definitely more up my alley when it comes to this shade. I love orangey, corally kind of a blushes and this one is definitely going to stay. So I am going to keep this blush in the bronzer, but I am going to let go of this one. And this one is in the shade Savage Lighters for my candles. So here we have a little basket that was hiding back there. And these ones are the Strobing Liquid Hydrogen lighters from Maybelline and I'm going to let go of these two right here. I just don't see myself reaching for this one. I'm also going to let go of this L'Oreal True Match Lumi. This one is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow More that I'm also going to be passing along. This one I do want to keep because I absolutely love it and I remember loving it so much. This one is the True Match Lumi Glotion. It just looks so nice on the skin. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Super, super beautiful and really nice. Not too much, not too like metallic like the strobing lights. And yeah, I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. So, so let me just revisit a couple of things here. This one is the highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills in So Hollywood. I have changed my mind. I am going to declutter this one also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So here we have all the 14 items that I'm going to declutter. And here we have the drawer. So I was able to move all of my cream and blushes from the other drawer to over here, which is nice. So I have now cream products in this drawer only and some loose powders over here. But yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for being here and your love, your time and support. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.